And a senior special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, joins me now on the news. Thank you for holding on, Mr. Shehu. In telecommunication companies. Bro now, the president address is coming at an auspicious time following calls for him to speak to Nigerians on government's efforts. Uh, some would say he has bowed to pressure. What are your thoughts? Uh, not quite. You know that uh, if we follow the speech very well, uh, the president uh, is very clear in stating that the entire anti-COVID effort in the country, it is expert driven. It is not driven by politicians or, or political leadership as, a, as, a, as, as, a, as in the president and all of that. So, and, and you know, he had special words for the director general of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. He said he's one of the world's top 10 and said special words of commendation to him. So for the president, the idea is the experts, those who know should lead this exercise. Not that you have a talking head uh, uh, saying empty words on television. No. Uh, what is the government doing? How much effort is being put into control of, of, uh, and, and, uh, of, of this uh, disease? So therefore, uh, I think that to, to the president today had the big opportunity uh, to put on display all of the efforts that he's been making quite late without uh, projecting his face on television. Now, the president, as evidenced in his address, uh, has given priority to impacted uh, states uh, with the FCT. But many are concerned about the absence or uh, um, uh, you know, the fewer of testing kits available. What is the government doing to make this more available? Well, you, uh, the, the fact of the President zeroing in on three states, uh, Lagos, Ogun, and uh, FCT, uh, as, as we said, is clearly indicative of the fact that all of the cases recorded in other parts of the country have been traced, you know, to these states. Uh, the, the problem with the testing kits and all of these things, nobody, no country in the world has been caught prepared by this virus. Everybody is scrambling to make procurement and 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 uh, and do a catch up, and I think that we have the benefit of time because the president has been planning well and following on developments in other countries, learning from China. The DG of our center was in China and learned a lot of these things. So. And, and an enormous amount of money has been placed at the disposal, not only of Lagos State government, but the Center for Disease Control. We are making procurements. And so far, I don't think there's any reason to believe that we are behind uh, you know, the requirements of uh, dealing with the situation as it is at the moment. Now, uh, the coronavirus pandemic has uh, ruled out the possibility of medical tourism. What uh, lessons, you know, uh, does this experience teach Nigerians, particular, particularly the political elite? Well, uh, I mean, as Nigerians, and, and uh, in line with the, what the president has said uh, over and over again, this is the country we all have, and that's the only one we have. So uh, the thing then is that well, then we must invest uh, enormously in, in health facilities in the country, now, as you can see, everyone all over the world, they are closing their boundaries, land, air, and sea. So everyone is taking care of themselves at home. And what we have in the country, what we have is what we'll use to manage our own situation. Yes, I agree with you. It's an important lesson. And I think that uh, for the future, the parliament, the executive, everyone involved in policy will come around to doing just the right things in order to ensure self-sufficiency for Nigerians in Nigeria. Now, the president also spoke about uh, beneficiaries of trader money, uh, the IDPs, and uh, those in border communities that will be impacted by the lockdown. Uh, but not Nigerians are captured in this program. So what happens to those who also uh, earn their daily bread on a daily basis? The, the, the president is looking at the lower rungs of the ladder. Uh, Obviously, there was that will be 
most negatively impacted are the low level people, uh, the poor. Nobody is a beneficiary of of uh, of uh, of uh, tr trader money and the farmer money and and uh, and uh, and the, the stipend that is paid to the poorest of the poor, the five thousand monthly, except those who are really down at the foot of the ladder. And so, therefore, it is understandable then that the president is showing compassion and he is showing empathy for those who are lowly placed in the in the economic and social structure of the country. Mr. Garbashew, thank you very much for your time and contribution on TVC News at 10.